주네 상어나 주네 So we're actually in a Ladaki garden from Lech and it's quite an amazing place and I'm right here with Im who has been spending the last seven seasons here as an environmental engineer and he teaches online courses about agriculture, about farming, sustainable farming and he knows quite a lot about Ladaki farming so, Im, why don't you tell us a bit more about uh, this wonderful place? Sure. We're, we're in, in Ley, what they have here is if you look at the water that's pouring out through the wall there in the end, they have this amazing canal system that takes the mother's milk from the Himalaya and it distributes it to all of the uh, populations in all the villages that are downstream from it and this is their ration for uh, uh, today uh, for this week or maybe even every two weeks they only get one water pour and they're very uh, responsible about it they're very um, their ethics are really quite high I asked one person uh, what if people cheat and they take too much water and then then the person and the Ladakhi person I talked to was absolutely nonplussed he said not possible not possible so uh, it helps if a community does have good ethics on the use of the community water so what they do have here is a place which is all slightly downhill from the input and it's all designed where everything is distributed fairly amongst this entire field you're looking at potatoes as the main staple crop there and all these other vegetables here which become the family's winter storage and you've got a lot of brassica up in, the, in this altitude and you've got uh, onions planted here they even have tomatoes here which are doing very well flowers lots of color good balance of the going on now what we have here is closed cell farming which means when the water pours in it fills up to a certain point then they'll shut it off and that water goes down no loss of nutrient no loss of topsoil and if you were to take this whole field and to tilt it and to look through the subsoil environment you would see a completely homogeneous field of liquidous soil that is nutrifying and uniting all of the all of the roots throughout here all the mycelium all the bacteria all the megapolis that goes on under the soil is able to communicate freely with this Ladakhi method this is why I teach this method and hopefully people around the world are actually watching this course or actually doing something about this method and it's meant for private farmers subsistence farmers community farmers and uh, not for the large-scale uh, machine farming which goes on for the larger populations but sorry to interrupt sorry. guys we are in the middle of the desert at 3500 meters and this type of farming sustainable farming dates from way way back in ancient history so it's something we should maybe have a closer look and maybe we'll as Ian said learn something from it and it our future might actually depend on the on this uh Ian, could you maybe take us on a quick tour on what exactly they are farming here so i've seen tomatoes i've seen onions and what do we got here yes what we're looking at underfoot are some brassica we've got cauliflower right here uh we most of them have been harvested you'll see the stumps and uh, the, the harvest has come in each cauliflower head will be about two kilos of food and uh, what what you have in these other cells behind here are the local like a spring onion like a green onion uh, which then grows if they let it go long enough grows a nice uh, onion body so they get the greens plus the the onion body out of that you see a, a lots of marigolds which are good for pest control that they put throughout the garden uh, then uh, we've got uh, right here what they call yalabuk uh, we've got these long radishes and we have turnips they're very similar to each other they grow like weeds I know from personal experience I love them uh, if we just take a look at one example here 
Uh, we have one, this is one case of a red radish or, or um, uh, uh, what they call daikon in, in the uh, Japanese tradition. Uh, they're growing very well here, very prolific. Uh, we have uh, several more species, but they're scattered throughout. You'll notice how the water is filling up the cells. If you see where Amelie is, which means mother, uh, they are the most diligent farmers uh, that I have right, so. ever seen. They're working constantly, uh, making food for the, for the family, heading things off there, working with the cows, farming every day. I call them the brown buffaloes because they're wearing Definitely things. the heroes in this area. Reminds me of the grandmothers from from old times in Romania as well. Same same sustainable lifestyle that you used to see in the past and now it's fading, fading which is, more and more. Which is which is a sad loss, but what we have here, the reality is that these are the last of the farmers uh, on any population basis. The young folks, of course, have gone up to the big cities to do the IT and more sexy jobs. When they come back eventually, um, this may not be here anymore with the encroachment of the tourism and uh, with people not really being interested in doing this. Then they will become dependent, which so many cultures are falling into. They're going to have to take the food from Kashmir or whatever's coming over the mountains because this will all be gone. The, this will become a guest house or something else. Um, so what we're seeing here maybe is one of the last uh, remnants of a, of a wonderful tr uh, tradition. This is why I teach this kind of farming again, uh, so that uh, people can use this throughout the world. This is valid for tropics. I've done it in the tropics in Thailand. I've done this in Korea. I've done this in different countries, and it does work. So the main idea there is that you're maintaining nutrients in topsoil, and that you have a homogeneous subsoil environment. It all works together. It works even with a lot less water than you normally would use. Row farming is out, folks. Never do row farming if you can, if you can listen to the, these explanations. But um, they do this uh, because uh, they, they have only so much top cell, they have only so much area, and it works very well for them. So this, this is uh, hopefully just a, a quick little refresher on the uh, Ladakhi method, what I call the Ladakhi method. Um, I hope it doesn't go away from us altogether, but uh, something that, that everybody can use and benefit from. Thanks for the time, and I'm glad that if anybody is able to watch this, I'm grateful. Thank you, Ian. This is really, really precious information. I hope this type of farming will not disappear, but from what it looks like, it will so maybe it's not too late that some people will actually start learning from this culture that is a hard one. green tomatoes are so awesome Wait. so you do you live here in uh, in Lech? Lech and I all your life and how much did the city change in the past too much too much Everywhere just guest houses and tourists and... Uh, I have guest house. You have also a guest house. But you have good food for, uh, for the guest house. This, this for family or guest house? Actually, we're not giving food in the guest house. Okay. Uh -huh. so this is for family. Yeah. This so is for year, personal this, use. Next year I will try to give food for this time out. So, a yeah, nice problem for water problems. Short term, yes, it is a very detrimental thing and to be receiving water from rainfall only and not from snowfall mm. is a major impact on everybody involved. Mm. This year, my garden is not too good. Last year, was very good. You had uh, too little rain this year. Last year, no snowfall. No glacier, melting all the glacier finished now. Now, few years later, the ducky.
No more agriculture here. No more agriculture, no more eating, no more water. Channel to other country. This is very serious. Very serious. Big, big house. A lot of cars, trucks. Yeah. Global warming. I've seen the city is changing very much. Changing, changing, changing. Too much changing. Everybody dependent. Everybody want more, 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 more. 